flavorful, colorful, bound to turn most people into loving pears. Poached pears in red wine is an elegant, simple to make dessert. Furthermore, the leftover syrup can be used to make a sorbet or you can also warm it up and serve it as a warm spiced wine. To make poached pears in red wine you will need pears with their stems, red wine, water, sugar, vanilla, cinnamon and clove powder. Place all the ingredients together except the pears in a large pot. Today I'm using Pinot Noir. You want to have a nice fruity red wine. Add the water. The spices, except the vanilla for now. All the sugar. So split up the vanilla bean lengthwise. and scrape the seeds. This is where most of all the flavor is. Finally, add the whole bean to the wine. Then prepare the pears. Peel the pears, do not break the stem, and start from the stem side to the core side, which is here. That will make nice lines. If you have any black spot, pick it up, like so. And pick up the core. Then place the pear in the wine and peel the next one. So today I'm using Bosk pear. However, you may use Bartlett or Anjou pear. They are all fine for poaching. They will be very nice. Just buy the one that are, seems to be the nicest at the market. Our last pear is ready. Let's add it to the, to the wine. Add a piece of parchment paper over the pear. So fold your parchment paper, fold over and over. From the pointy part, measure the center of the pot, hold, place a, make a mark, cut the paper with a round shape, cut the tip off to create a chimney, open up and place it over the pails. Bring to a boil on high and we will reduce the heat later on. Mm, it's very fragrant. The red wine is boiling. Turn down the heat to medium and let simmer the wine for about 35 to 40 minutes. Turning the pears every 10 minutes. The pears have been simmering for 40 minutes. They are cooked. So if you look at the core on the, from the core side, if you insert on the side a knife, it will be tender. So then turn off the heat, let the pear temper at room temperature for about an hour. Then keep them in the fridge within the wine until tomorrow. They will continue to absorb the flavor and the color from the wine. Our pears are cold. They've been refrigerated overnight. So now it's time to sell them. So. Lift them up delicately. I'm just going to cut the bottom just to make it flat a little bit. Mm. Beautiful. And we're going to serve some wine over.
a little bit more because this is really good then garnish with a little bit of mint so maybe make an incision to insert the stem of the mint et voilà clean your plate push pear in red wine bon appétit